So Trump is going to be president for about a year, even if he loses the next general election. Um, do you think that this is the last uh, time that we've gone to the brink with Iran? Or do you fear that he could once again, perhaps in the lead up to the election, uh, you know, stimulate some sort of tension between us and Iran? And if so, um, what needs to be done to lower the chance of that happening? I'm fearful. Uh, look, I believe that the president probably doesn't want to send troops into a full fronted war in Iran, that's not the risk. The risk is that these skirmishes, these accidental uh, confrontations or intentional confrontations could very easily escalate out of control. We're very fortunate that no Americans lost their lives in the Iranian uh, strike. But imagine if Americans had lost their lives, uh, there would have been a requirement almost of the president to, to then escalate and take uh, further action. Uh, and it, who knows whether that response would have been proportionate. So you can easily imagine a scenario where these things spiral out of control. And that's why Congress has to act. And the only real power we have is the power of the purse. We can actually say we simply will not fund offensive strikes against Iran or Iranian officials. Uh, and that uh, if we don't authorize the funding for that, it would be impossible for this president to carry it out. That's how we wound down the Vietnam War. Senator Church had an amendment that basically said, we're just gonna stop funding any troops in Vietnam other than for their withdrawal. That's how we stopped a war in Angola in 1976. Uh, so the Congress has this power. The question is whether we will exercise it. So I mean, that that must be my question then as well. Like you've been consistent in this issue across multiple conflicts over multiple years. Um, we know that the Democratic Party they were very outspoken against Donald Trump over the past two weeks. Well, now they have a a chance to potentially do something significant, and perhaps along the lines that you laid out. Is that going to happen? And and if it does in the House, is it possible that the Senate, perhaps with the assistance of some relatively anti-war Republicans like Mike Lee or others, that, that they might go along with it? I do think there's a good possibility. I, I spoke today with our leadership and they are committed to moving my bill in the next week or two and getting a vote on it. And I anticipate it will pass the House and that would strip any funding for any offensive war in Iran. Of course, Senator Bernie Sanders is leading that effort in the Senate. Senator Sanders and I have an op-ed out on CNN's webpage today that you can look at, which makes the case for why we need it to pass both the House and the Senate and need a strong congressional response. Mike Lee has already said, Senator Republican Mike Lee, that he will co-sponsor Bernie Sanders' bill. I'm hopeful Rand Paul and a few others will get on board. So there is an emerging bipartisan coalition to stop these wars. Uh, and it's encouraging to see the support that Senator Sanders and my bill is getting. Check out the Damage Report podcast each day, wherever you get your podcasts, whether Pocket Casts or Stitcher or iTunes. You can join me as I give you the news and stories you want with a range of co-hosts and interview guests jumping in on the fun each day. Again, that's the Damage Report, wherever you get your podcasts. And if you get them at iTunes, don't forget to rate and review. Sometimes I'll read them live on the show.